Hey, it's me. Right there. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Well, hey, look, you know, this is a Monday right now. It's Monday afternoon. I'm still bummed out because my brother passed. And I was up last night. I got drunk. I got a little inebriated. Not really. But, you know, I'm not really a big drinker like that to get inebriated. So I'm still dealing with that. I started writing a poem because that's how I deal with stuff. I think this is going to take a while because uh, we won't be able to get his body for a long time. I mean, for a while because at least two weeks, they said. Because the stuff is backed up or something like that. So I don't know. Anyway, but I'm going to have to go down to means I got to go down to Virginia. So for the next two weeks before I go down to Virginia, or as I go down to Virginia, somehow I'll see my sister, you know, get together. Then I'm going to, I think, just work on a poem. Yeah, work on a poem for two, three, four weeks, you know. Don't know when it's going to be done. Who knows? So that's one of the ways I'm coping. But it's a, it's a Monday, which means I'm fasting. It's my fast day. I usually fast all day. And around late at night, well, you know, Monday night, right before I listen to, as I listen to Yvette Cornell, right before I listen to Yvette Cornell, then what I do is I go and, um, I can stick that in there now. That works there. I go, ooh. Uh, what I do is I, 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 I mean, aside from taking a bath, you know, uh, I'm shaking up my uh, buffered vitamin C and uh, some prune juice. Anyway, so about nine o'clock, whatever, whatever, right before she comes on, then I'll eat a salad to break the to break the uh, to break the fast. So eat a salad, then I listen to it as I listen to it, whatever. Somehow it all works out. I put some more prune juice in there. So usually I just drink water in a day, but today I don't know. I just feel like drinking some prune juice in the afternoon. I don't know why, but I. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but I had a thought. Yes, I was thinking. I was thinking, always thinking. Let me put my glasses on so you'll know. That I, may, I might look smarter like I've been thinking. I've been thinking. You know, I know it's difficult. You say, well, you're thinking. Well, what else are you going to do in an undisclosed location? You ain't getting nothing else to do. I'm, I'm, I don't want to do it to TV. I don't. I got some books I have to, I have to read. You know, stuff has been happening. So I've been clearing my head. Prune juice. I don't drink prune juice all the time. I don't want to drink it out the bottle. Let me put it in a cup. I don't drink. I mean, I drink prune juice like maybe every three weeks or something like that. At the most, real prune juice. Other than that, I don't take none of the lax. I'm, I'm good with everything. Okay, here's what I've been thinking. Think about what? Well, what else? Everybody's talking about Biden. I'm not talking about what he said about black people. I'm thinking something else about Biden. The thing about Biden, especially when I brought out in this interview, you can see. Biden has this thing. He's developed it after after a long time. Let me leave the black thing alone for just a second. It's like he's good. like when he was hanging out with the segregationists. Like he's not anymore. I don't know. You know, with the, the Strom Thurmonds and the Eastlands and all this, making those laws or whatever have you. He had a way of talking where it wasn't overtly racist. It was like right below the racist line. You know what I mean? It's like the language. In other words, he could hang out with the racists because he can hang out with them, but he has a, he, he can get their cadence and their rhythm and their, and, and their feeling. And just right, right, right below them. So, so, so if he said colored person, right? Well, you know what he really meant kind of thing. I'm not talking about Biden himself, but I mean that, that kind of thing. And to me, he has that same ability with, 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 with the black constituency. He has this way of trying to talk black. He doesn't work with black. But he's trying to talk black right he's like right below that line. He's got some of the, 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 the whatever right below that line. So you really, you know, you, you, he, and, and, and because he's so below, because so long because he's an old man, and he crosses it, and because we're so, we, black people, we just know when you cross that line, you know. When he crosses it, you know, it doesn't sound severe, I guess, to a white ear, but to a black ear, it's like, what you trying to talk black? You know what I mean? You know, because when you talk black, when here's the problem: when they talk black, they like it's like you talking down to us. It's like you 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 know you pandering to us like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you just talk regular. You know, just talk. Be yourself. You know, okay. What I'm trying to say is the only people that on the only people in America that can really or should really code switch. I shouldn't say that. Anybody can code switch. If you. Code switching is this: uh, you're, you're, in the, you're in the downtrodden class, and you're trying to hang out with the, you know, with the hoity-toities. You know, let me give let me give you the most severe case I saw of 
code switching in my life. Okay, here we go. This was so great. I was in uh, I was in undergrad school at Livingston College, right? What I used to do, see, what students don't, well, back in the day, students don't, if you got a car, you a student, right? I mean, you could do a lot of things. So I would go around and I visited a radio station in Piscataway. It was a, a little radio station in Piscataway. I just used my car. Look, I'm, I'm a student. I just wanted to first uh, but, uh, give me some just to walk around. There's so always still the program director. Usually they want to, usually program director stay, especially if you have a, a station that does just, it just one kind of, one kind of thing. Then, you know, they, they get bored. So any new, any kind of thing. So I said, oh, yeah, sure, sure. So he's he going to take me around the station. You know what I mean? So he took me around the station. We really talked a little bit about my studies, whatever. Have you. And then the, 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 uh, 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 the Spanish guy, I call him a Spanish guy because we grew up, we say Spanish, you know. Maybe he was Puerto Rican, I don't know. He's a Spanish guy. Came in and he started, and he was talking, talking with the whole Spanish accent, you know what I mean? I, I, he wasn't Mexican, he was Spanish because he was Spanish, I mean, like Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? Because you could tell. You know, he's, he's, he's got his like Puerto Rican inflection, you know, I'm talking black and white guy talking white, you know, we, we have a good thing. So he said, oh yeah, because he was a news guy. He said, uh, you know, so he said, Mr. Johan. Then he wanted to go to do the news, right? I'm telling you. He opened his mouth. He sounded more white than the white guy. <laughs> I can't explain it. This was look. This is definitely a Spanish guy, and he had that white thing down. But you see, it's not just the words. It's it's, it's, it's an attitude. It's a it's a. You got to embody the thing. So you have to sort of. I don't know. So Biden has that ability to do that. A lot of people. They, but a lot of people what they did that underlying ability, which means basically. Like Barack Obama, he's like a snake in the grass. You know, he can snake and slither around like that, which is good for a politician, I guess. But you know, in this day and age, when we, when, 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 when people have, you know, they they can look at the tape more and more, and they can they, they, they can pause, they listen to, they have other people talking to them or whatever have you. you know, well, it's going to be not so good for people like like like. like like Biden, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people like that. People who used to be ex Republicans and now now they're on the now they're on the right side. And they all blah, blah, blah. but no, you can see the slithering under it. And it had that same kind of thing. So it's quite interesting. I find it interesting, and you know maybe you do too. <laughs>